guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons of Fiction. Today we're going to talk about Anne Shirley. Anne Shirley is the leading character in the 1908 novel Anne of Green Gables written by Lucy Maud Montgomery. Anne of Green Gables is a story that many women from all over the world have grown up with, including me. My mom used to read the translation to me when I was a little girl. And many people have Anne as a kind of role model. So when so many of you requested that I do Anne for a Beauty Beacons of Fiction tutorial, I couldn't resist paying homage to this beloved character in this way. And throughout Anne of Green Gables and all the sequels, because pretty much her, her, her whole life was written in these books, she starts out as a very kind of insecure girl that doesn't like her appearance. She has um, thick red hair that she wears in two braids and she has freckles and she just really does not like the color of her hair. There is one episode where she um, accidentally dyes it green in an attempt to dye it black. And later on, as she becomes older, she of course moves on from the two braids and starts wearing her hair in a little bit more mature hairstyle. So there have been so many adaptations of Anne of Green Gables. There have been TV series made, movies, countless movies, stage performances, um, anime even. There, I mean, so many interpretations, but I think the one that is most iconic is the interpretation of Megan Follows, um, who played Anne in three movies, I believe. So I chose one of her looks as my inspiration for today's video, and I went with this look that I'm wearing right here. This is one of older Anne's looks, of course, because, you know, two braids would have made a pretty short and boring video. Yeah, this is like a pretty typical 19th century hairstyle for a young lady. I'd say let's jump straight into the tutorial. So I'm going to start with the makeup as always. So to begin, I'm going to apply a layer of foundation and concealer just to even out my skin tone, make a nice blank canvas to start with. Then I'm going to take a little bit of translucent powder and powder everything off to make sure everything is matte and stays in place. So I'm going to keep the makeup very minimal today because Anne doesn't wear makeup. So um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of clear eyebrow gel and comb through my eyebrows to make them stay where I want them to. <laughs> so for my eyelashes, I'm just going to curl those. Again, I'm not going to apply mascara. It's all too hard. I want to keep this very soft looking, but curling lashes makes a big difference anyway. All right, so the most important part about the makeup is to draw on some freckles. Uh, I'm going to fake freckles and to do that I'm going to use a contour powder and a stippling brush and I'm just going to kind of pat the stippling brush on the contour powder and then dab it onto my face and this is going to create that a very natural freckly look. I mean this is so natural you could literally go out with this and people wouldn't notice that they're fake. I hope they actually show up on camera. So when I've done that in all the places where I want my freckles to be, I'm going to take a small eyeliner brush and pick up that same color and just draw in some bigger freckles, some kind of more noticeable ones here and there. And that's all I'm going to do for the makeup. So moving on to hair, like I said, I'm doing a little bit of an older Anne. So to start, I'm going to spray my hair with a little bit of heat protector because I'm going to curl it. And then I'm going to start by sectioning it off and curling all the pieces of hair with a fairly small curling iron, kind of a mid-sized one. And every time I finish a curl, I'm going to pin it to my head. So when I have curled all of my hair like this, I'm going to allow this a couple of minutes to completely cool down before I move on. So when it has cooled down, I'm going to take out all of my pins and let down my curls and then I'm going to take a brush and just brush this through a couple of times to kind of loosen everything up. Okay, so I'm going to tease the front of my hair to make sure that I have this kind of poofy bit in the front here that is so iconic for this type of hairstyle. So I'm just going to take a rat tail comb, section out um, the side of my hair first, tease that, then move on to the other side and then end with the middle. And going back wherever I need to, my hair has trouble with teasing, it just doesn't want to be teased. My hair untangles itself, so I need to go back a couple of times to fix this. And then it's time to assemble the hairstyle. So I'm going to start with the back. I'm going to gather all of the hair and pull it up into a high ponytail, but very loosely. So I'm going to have this big swoopy bit at the bottom. We don't want anything to be too neat. This is supposed to be kind of a fluffy hairstyle. So when I have my little ponytail in the back, I'm going to work on the front. And this time I'm going to start with the center part and I'm going to um, kind of arrange that <laughs> towards that hair elastic that I have in the back. And when everything is the way I like it, I'm going to pin this down with a couple of bobby pins. 
then it's time to move on to the sides. So I'm gonna start with one side, kind of smooth this backwards. And when I'm satisfied, I'm going to pin it there and do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm going to grab all of the hair that I have on top and I'm going to just brush this through to make it all kind of come together into one big curl. And this I'm going to just twist around and form this loose little bun on top of my head. And pin that down with however many bobby pins I need. Then all there's left to do is pull out a little couple of pieces in the front. You can all often see her with kind of a little bit disheveled hair and these pieces I think make it look very kind of natural and romantic. That is the last step and there is your Anne Shirley look completely done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Beauty Beacons of Fictions episodes. If you have any requests for fictional beauty icons that you would like me to recreate the looks of, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will look through and pick some of that for next time. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!